Hello folks! This is day 18 of the Linux Upskill Challenge. Today we're going to learn about log rotation. So what is log rotation? I guess we are all in agreement that a server must have a log because you want to know what is going on there. If something goes wrong, you want to check what happened before that something went wrong. So that's why we keep logs. But logs are like text files. Even if text in itself doesn't consume that much disk, it's still going to add up after some time and it's going to be a space problem when the log is too big. And if you have one big log, you want to have a way to get exactly to the point in time that you want to look at what happened. One way to have that better organized and to save space and to save the log itself because think that something could be corrupted and you need backups, you're going to have to store that log somewhere else. One way to accomplish this is to rotate the logs and that's why we use log rotate. The idea of log rotation is you have one log file that you have at hand, something that is current, that is being incremented for a period of time that fits the amount of logs that you're receiving. Imagine that you have one application that have activity every two to three weeks and something that has a bunch of activity at each second. You have different expectations for those applications and therefore you're going to have a different expectation for the size of the log file and how much log you want to keep. So in the rotation of a log you have something that you have at hand that's going to be incremented as it goes and you're going to have the first log after that period of time that you're keeping. Let's say that I rotate my logs weekly so I'm going to have the current week and the next log of that is going to be the week that passed. So I'm going to have there two log files, the one that I'm using right now and the one that is from the, the previous period and so on. If I rotate another week, that last week it's going to be considered two weeks before. So I'm going to change that log file or rename it to two weeks before and I have this current week that just ended. It's not really current anymore. It's going to be my last week and so on and so forth until how many weeks worth of log files I want to keep. And I could get, I don't know, after 50 weeks, I don't need anything older than 50 weeks. What I'm going to do with the log number 49, I'm going to discard that or I can archive that in a different file system. I can put that on tape. It really depends on the necessity for housekeeping, legislation, business models, how much you need to keep those files and data and for how long. So we're back to our server. Let's see what is the configuration for the log rotation. There is a daemon application. It's a service that runs in the background. We have a daemon called log rotate that uses the log rotate configuration to define how the log files are going to be generated. Log rotate dot conf. Our logs are going to be rotated every week. We are going to keep each log file is going to be one week worth of logs and we are keeping four weeks, which means we're going to do this four times before we start the discarding or doing anything else with the fifth log file. It says here that we create a new empty log file with the rotating, so we're not renaming, we are creating new files. And if I want to check specifically for an application how the logs are rotating, and each application can have a different log rotate configuration, and everything is going to be inside etc log rotate folder for the log rotate daemon. And here we have Apache 2, so we can check configuration from etc log rotate d Apache. Too. And this is the configuration for log rotate specifically for the application Apache. We are rotating those logs daily. We are keeping 14 days worth of logs. Every day we have a new file, a new log file, and we're keeping 14 of those. We have that here. We have it on slash var slash log slash Apache 2. Everything that is dot log is going to be there. So let's check ls var log. 
the access log that is the first log the one that we we check for the current day and we have starting with 1 until 14 so we have besides the current period that we're gathering the logs we have 14 periods because we have that as specified in the config file 14 files worth of logs so we have 15 but the current is being updated daily. One thing that is important here is that we are compressing those files. You see, we're using .gz. This is being gz compressed, both specifically for the application or for the system-wide configuration. I can change that period. I can change the, the compression is going to happen. And you see that the Apache had the compressed files. My system-wide configuration have that commented. This is not standard, but it's is happening here for the Apache config file. So you see there is some flexibility here. You can consider different parameters for different applications. You have something that is standard for everyone, but this can be changed for one application or another. And one way to also check those files, gather that information and doing some filtering without having to dive into the log files, is using journal. Journal control, journal CTL. I want to see everything that happens since this boot is going to open more as a pager for me, it's going to show me all the logs. If I want to see everything that is an error, I can check from priority three. It's going to show me all the log entries that were considered an error. You see all the errors, errors, errors. If I want to check something that is critical, remember when we were creating new users, messing around the permissions, there was a message saying this is going to be reported. This is the thing that is going to be reported. One day my log will have something to say about this. User not in sudoers. This is a security breach. It shouldn't be happening. My log saw something that night. And so on and so forth. If I want to see everything that happened today, I can use since today. And this is all that happened today. You see that there was some <laughs> attempts at connection from our server. I'm being attacked as expected. Things are still working. <laughs> and if I want to see the logs as they are happening, if I'm testing some, I can use journal dash F. This works as tail dash F that we use it into exit that. I just use control C. So that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.